Hey everybody, Pat from Track Machine Tools. Today's video is going to be about electronic hand wheels and something we affectionately call tracking. We've all crashed a machine at one time or another, right? If you tell me no, I think you're lying to me. So let's show how something like electronic hand wheels can keep you from crashing a part ever again. What it is is we replace the manual hand wheels with electronics so that we have a lot more control of things like the feed rate and other features in the digital readout mode. Right now that's where I'm at and I'm going to show you the first thing that you get out of this, right? There's a button here that says fine and coarse. And what that does, it controls you the resolution of the handle when you're using it. Right now it's in coarse, so every revolution is 800 thousandths. But if I push that button one time, now it's like a standard hand wheel and it's 200 thousandths per revolution. So the nice part here is that if I got to get somewhere in a hurry, dial it over there nice and quick. And then when I have my edge finder or my end mill in here, I'm actually machining. Just go back to the fine mode and I can do that machining this way. It works the same way with the Z-axis, works the same way with the Y-axis, okay? But uh, that's only one of the features that you get out of having electronics. The next feature is a feature that we call GoTo. And what GoTo is, it's an electronic switch that we are able to program in the control. And whenever the machine gets to this point in the machining process, it will stop when it hits that number. Right now you see I have the x-axis at two inches. So you'll see as I'm dialing here, when I get to the two inch number, it's just gonna stop moving. I'm almost there now, and you'll see that it disconnects the hand wheel. So even though I'm turning, it's not going anywhere, right? This will work in both fine or in coarse. Every time I get to that number, it stops. So if I'm hogging away a bunch of material, all I have to do is put in my boundaries and I can machine away. I don't even have to look at the readout, okay? Another neat feature with the way this works is if I hit return and go beyond that boundary now, when I come back to it, it remembers that number. So now it'll work from the opposite direction and still disconnect every time it gets to the two inch mark. Again, I can do that in X, Y, or Z axis, okay? But the real benefit to electronic hand wheels is what we affectionately call tracking. And what it is, is it gives me the ability to be the feed rate when I'm machining part. This is the part that I was talking about where there's no reason you're ever going to crash a machine as long as you've got tracking, considering that you use it, right? So here I'm going to the run mode. I'm going to start. And in here it says, okay, when you're ready, push go, right? So I'm doing my normal machining here and I'm going to be drilling holes and things like that, right? And so I push go and you'll see that I'll come over here and I'll start machining, right? And it's going to tell me what to do. It says put in the first tool, tells me to turn the spindle on. I'm going to leave it off just to keep it quieter for this video. And so I'm pretending I did all those things and normally I'd push go and make parts, right? So this is where you take a chance of if I made a mistake, I could crash the part. So here I'm going to use the tracking feature. And with tracking, I become the feed rate. So you're going to see here that as it machines down into this pocket, I can stop when I get really close and make sure that this number here is what I have left over there, right? And if it looks good to me, then I can continue on and it'll actually come in. It'll start doing the machining into the part and then I'll start cutting the pocket all the way through as you see how that works, right? And at any point when I know that it looks good, I can just hit stop, go to CNC run mode, push go, and it'll do the machining by itself. Now maybe when I finish this pocket, I gotta check and see if I made any mistakes on the outside of the part too. In this case, I can let it machine as it's going here and when it's ready to go and finish, I'll just push stop again and I'll go back to tracking. So you'll see it, it's gonna come up here in just a minute. So right here, it goes up to the rapid plane and it moves over to where it's gonna cut the outside of the part. And it's like, God, you know, I better check this too just to make sure I did it right, right? So I'm gonna go back to tracking mode. They'll dial it over and watch where it comes down. It looks like it's in the right place. And then I can machine the whole part if I wanted to. When I'm in the tracking mode, the Y axis becomes the fine feed rate and the X axis is the coarse feed rate. So I still have complete control over how it's machining. Once it looks good, again, stop, CNC run, go. Let it do the machining by itself. The great part about this is at any point, I'm coming up close to a corner, I got a clamp that I don't think I'm gonna hit, but I wanna make sure I go back to tracking mode and I can dial through there real nice and easy, make sure everything looks good. The clamp's in the way, I stop, move the clamp, machine through it, put the clamp back on, continue running all the way through. And when it looks good to me, then I can let it do the finishing of the machining all by itself. And this point here, I say, hey, this looks great. CNC run, go. And when it finishes through the rest of this thing, it's gonna stop and go home, right? And uh, at this point here, when it goes home, once I know that it's right, I just shut it off and I'm completed, okay? When the next part goes in, I'm just pushing go and making parts. And I can run parts all day long and never have to break an end mill or explain to the boss what I did this time. This concludes the way the tracking feature works with electronic hand wheels. If you like the way this video is, you're gonna find a lot more of them on YouTube and on our Facebook page. 
Thank you very much for watching this video.